I said I would wait until someone opened the door. So I have was, not I'm heard that one. Yeah, I so You're I'm a muggle. A <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking muggle. We have a lot of fucking insects in our household that we've been killing, you know? Oh yeah. Insects. It, what did you insects. think I said? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to the 33rd official offline TV podcast. Today we are joined by Peter. But you know what Peter starts with? P. What else starts with P? That's right. Postmates. Postmates. We're happy to announce that we are partnering with Postmates again. It is the go-to app if you want food delivery with quick service. And they're giving everyone $100 in delivery free credit for your first seven days. This is for new customers only, but definitely try them out if you haven't yet. Especially during this time when everyone has to stay inside. And you can still be able to get your favorite food sent to your door. It's a great way to order local and support small mom and pop restaurants. Find them all on Postmates. And the code for Postmates is offline TV 100. Today we ordered from Noble Tea. Noble Tea. Yes. Ooh. That's a one take wonder. Okay. Uh, wow. Wait, uh, I'm still wonder. waiting for my Noble Tea. Yeah. Oh. So, today we're joined by Peter Park. Ker. Oh. Park. Peter. Oh, yeah, I had to make that joke. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's cool. It's cool. I get it. Uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, my name is Peter Park. Um, I am a variety streamer on Twitch, uh, and wait, how long am I supposed? To, and yeah, that's it. But you can keep here. going. <laughs> what I what? Tell us about yourself. What's your favorite hobbies? Your color? Oh, what's your favorite clothing line? Oh, I, I see that you're wearing a hoodie. What kind of hoodie are you wearing, Peter? Oh yeah. So I got this from Offline TV, one of my favorite streamer groups with hot sensations like Disguised Toast, mm -hmm. Pokimane, mm -hmm. Michael Reeves, mm -hmm. and many more. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh nice. Oh. So, oh, that's uh, sick. That's pretty cool merch. I, I, I mean, I was kind of <clears throat> waiting for you to keep going, but... Yeah, I oh, really sorry. I was going to uh, keep uh, going uh, on um, that. Um, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> All right, moving Lily on. Peach. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um... We never really follow this list of topics. Why don't we do that? You want to just like this. You want to read look, all says, the way down. Look, it says getting deep. These are some late night sleepover conversation topics. Let's get real. Do you think humanity is inherently good, inherently evil, or society dictates who we become? Hmm. <sighs> I'm tired already. Wow, we're yeah. really gonna go into this as our first yeah. question. <laughs> I was kind of hoping like we would like be like okay this is Peter we hang out with him we play games with him yeah uh, I thought we'd softball it in yeah first, yeah not, like, it's like, like this is his first evil. podcast usually we 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 wanted to bring on some more guests recently because we felt like you know it'd be better to include guests especially while we yeah, during this COVID time um, mm -hmm. so Peter what do you think about humanity and their inherent evilness or goodness evil or good wow this really sounds like a Scara first date topic mm -hmm. but um, yeah it is. I don't know, man. Just, you know, people be good. People be bad sometimes, you know? Like, I just... I, re I remember, like, this... I, I like to think that, um, you know, you're more influenced by society. It's nurture versus nature. But I've heard cases where, like, serial killers, like, come from, like, perfectly good backgrounds. Like, great, amazing parents. And, like, they tried their best and they still ended up being psychopaths, so... A little bit of column A. Little, yeah. A little bit of column B. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Mm. If you had the option to be immortal, would you take it? <laughs> you, you skip. Do you believe in fate? Uh, what? That uh, was an important yeah. one. That's a good one. Yeah. Do you guys think that life is like predetermined? Do you think everything is predetermined, or do you think that free will exists? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think it'd be if it was predetermined. It'd be nice if the predetermination was only a little bit, like. Like, pure, like, I don't know, some ultimate being is like, Scar, your lifetime is going to be 69 years, okay? And during these 69 years, you will live or die, or you will, you will like, uh, <laughs> you will sorry, live so or sorry, you sorry, die. Right? I meant, like, <laughs> you'll do whatever you want during these 69 years. But on the 69th year, the Green Reaper is going to come and get you, you know? You will uh, not be able to evade fate. 
I hope it would be you nice won't if... longer than 69 years, Kara. Uh, I'll... S- I mean, what about like 69 more years? Uh, That'd mm, be a good time, right? 69 more? I guess I'd be 89? That's solid. That That's pretty solid. Like, that's at what a, point... That's a long, like, storied lifetime. I don't want to live to the point where I feel like I can't get up in the morning. So, like, when does your yeah. body fully start... Like, deteriorating? Dis- deteriorating <laughs> yeah. to the point where, like, you need help. You'd be 99. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Uh, oh, definitely more than it. Did you say 89 before? Oh, f- Did you think you were 20? Uh, I no, don't no, no, want to talk about it. I thought we were asking it. for the birth year. I uh, don't want to talk about it. I think that, like, at, oh, yeah, definitely at 99, you're deteriorating. Yeah, I think, like, like if you're going to go at a certain, like, if you were just like, okay, so... At the age of 71, where you feel like your body's starting to shut down, uh, you, yeah. 74, and you lived a good life, would you, if it was an option, go go your way, you know, like kind of a painless <laughs> death, as opposed to live out like a miserable five years? What? So like an assisted yeah. suicide, basically. There, there's no guarantee yeah. that it's like a miserable, you can do things when you're old too, you know? Yeah. I, I think most people would answer that they don't want to get to that point, but when they do get to that point, they're like, "Oh shit! Oh, you want I more? Don't really want to die?" Yeah. Right? I, I don't think it's necessarily like I want more, but it's like, "Oh shit! I'm tired all the time. This sucks." But also, I don't want to die. That scary at that point. I think a physician assisted like, I don't, what's the term for it? There's a term for it. Hold on. Assisted suicide. Oh think, right? yeah, assist. Yeah, so pretty much yeah, would be. For certain cases, yeah. more humane than letting someone live out their lives in pain. Mm. True. Well, me and Danny uh, Shifter, my roommate, we talked about this actually. What? And yeah. Okay. yeah, we talked about whether we want to live like super long lives, oh, or he was just like, "No, nah, man, fuck it. I just want to live like a rock star till I'm forty and then drop dead." And I was like, <laughs> "That's solid. I respect." I it. Respect honestly, that. honestly. Yeah, I like mean, like, I think I he it. says that now, but if in the future, you know, if he has kids or like has grandkids, whatever, you're gonna want to live to see that, right? I think your priorities change. Oh, uh, sure. yeah. I, it's very dependent on if you have a family, for sure. Yeah, if, I can see that if you're like alone, maybe, but even mm-hmm. like friends too, you know? I think when I you know. when you you also grown up like in like the scene like as a like a professional player, uh, you get you commonly get to points where like you want to burn bright, not burn long, because yeah. like especially your career, like what we're doing right now even is like what is the lifespan of a streamer? You know how long can I go I at this? Don't know. I thought no one knows because we're the first generation of streamers, exactly. and like and there are like plenty of people in their thirties, their forties. Like there's no like. Hard limit. No Anyone hard can cap. stream, yeah. you know? Right. I don't think there's been, like, a, a wave of superstar streamers that have quit. Usually, like, the superstar streamers, like, fall out of obscurity, but they're even still streaming, you know? Yeah. Um. Uh. So, it's, like, it's very strange. The weirdest thing happened yesterday, okay? I was streaming um, Valorant, and I got hosted by Wardell. And if you don't know who Wardell mm. is, he's a he's TSM star uh uh, Valorant player. He is one of the he's best operator nuts, users in the world. Like, straight up. He's a jet man. Yeah, he's bro. a jet man. He came into my stream. He's like, bro, I've been watching you since I was 14. And I'm just like, holy <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh my god. This guy is literally, like, the next generation of streamers. And I'm like, it blows my mind that I've been streaming for, like, eight years and I don't even know when, like, I'm going to quit. But, like, this guy's up-and-coming streamer. He's going crazy. You guys can be like, I'm going to get a VTube model, so... <laughs> 3D? Nah. 2D? <laughs> oh, You're going to live forever yeah. in the 2D model. You'll pass the model down to the next level. Oh, oh, yeah! When when you're done streaming. Wait, would you do that? If you could upload your consciousness into, like, an AI... And just like live forever that way. Would you choose to do that? Yes, that'd be cool. I, but I want I the option to die. Cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you need to have that. I want an to option die. to die. If, like, if you start turning option. evil, it just terminates. <laughs> well, I mean, like, <laughs> if I was to start turning evil, maybe like we we'll just see how much, how far I can go. You know, can I shut down society? How evil I can get. <laughs> <laughs> how evil? Yeah. Did you guys, did you guys watch a Psychopath? Can I spoil Psychopath for people? Everyone's here seen it, right? 
I have, I have it, not, but, but you can. You know what? It's fine. It. Just spoil it. <laughs> okay. Okay, for anyone watching right now, I'm going to talk about Psychopaths. It's an anime about a futuristic world where, uh, you know, uh, people can, are de- are decided on, like, their danger level based on, like, a, go- a, government, a government. They'll sign you a number, and these guns tell you the number of the person and how dangerous they are. And if they go okay. above, if they go above yeah. a certain number, you can just uh-huh. kill them. Like, that's how they assess threats, essentially. They have, like, a... They see your potential mm-hmm. to harm others. It's not like you actually harmed others. They just see like you can. So it's, so like, it's kind yeah. of like Minority Report. Yeah, so like actually, pre-crime. I was going to say Minority Report. Okay. okay, got it, got it, got it. So the ending of season one, and the show is great, by the way. So I'm going to spoil it for you if you're still listening. Yeah. Please mm-hmm. don't listen if you mm-hmm. don't want to. Mm-hmm. Um, is they find out that the 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 system that rules this like series this series of laws to determine the number of people. A number on people is just brains, like the br- like a a, a, ne- a mesh network of like hundreds of brains put together and, to rule over society. And I was thinking, like, if I could be one of those brains, like decide whether or not to you live or die, maybe that wouldn't be that bad. Okay, the moral of the story: Scar wants to be brains. Mm. <laughs> I want to be brains. Mm. What about one of those like celebrity heads from oh. Futurama? You know That'd be cool. <laughs> you want to be the. Yeah. That would be cool. Usually, it's stored You're just, like, in a literally a talking room, fucking head. <laughs> I don't want to be in the museum though. Like, I don't. Yeah, wanna... that sounds like hell. Yeah, I don't want to be in the museum and have like the kids come up and be like, "Oh my god, look at how it was when they were so technologically well, unadvanced." You know, it's the first generation of streamers. <laughs> <laughs> what a caveman! And this is our first technological YouTuber. It's Mr. Reeves. The kids are like Michael. Michael. <laughs> ah, all right. Um. Oh wow! Some really fucking deep questions today. Who made these questions? Do you usually Yo. go this deep with your guests? Hell no, no. never. We're just chilling. Okay, just but me, some huh? Of these cool. are like: Is cereal soup? Are hot dog sandwiches? Does toilet paper go over or under? I mean, that's just that's just over, right? Like, yeah, it goes under over. willingly. Yeah, it's just over. Oh, yeah. really? I don't care. I just, you know. Okay. Okay, to be honest, my toilet paper is just like on top of the roll thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It's not sometimes it gets really in. lazy. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah, sometimes it's just sitting on top of the toilet. So. Yeah, this house didn't come with like toilet paper holders, actually. Wait, what? Gar, do you have one? I th- yeah, I have. You don't have one. I have one, but some of them don't. And it's like really. You know, this It's so weird. This house is like the rooms kind of look the same. And then you get into each one of them and you realize like they change, like the, the builder just got really quirky with some of them <laughs> and changed very minute things about each room. Like my room doesn't have a tub. The bedroom next to me has a fucking tub in the bathroom. Like Scara's bathroom has the Minecraft shower knob. Me too. Mine, yep. yeah. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I got the Minecraft shower knob. It's like such weird differences that they put into the house. I do have a toilet, uh, toilet paper holder thingy, but it's oh, so yeah. high up. Mm. Like when you're sitting, you have to like reach over. Oh. So I didn't think it was a toilet paper holder, so I thought it was like a towel, hand towel holder. So I've been <laughs> using it as a hand towel holder oh. <laughs> for months until. We hired uh, maids to clean our house, right? One of them put the toilet paper in the toilet paper holder. And that's when I realized, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, oh my god. My. Like, when you're sitting on the toilet, you want it, like, arm's reach, right? This thing is, like, higher. And it was, like, uncomfortable. So I'm like, this is kind of weird. It's probably not a toilet paper. It's probably a, a hand towel. Thing. Hand towel. Yeah, that's what I thought. But then, like, the toilet paper fits perfectly in it. And I'm like... This is such a weird design. Okay. Anyway, sorry. That was a little tangent. Yeah, there's strange bits in the house. God, there's such weird. Someone was having an existential crisis when they wrote these. I questions. think this is kind of funny. What is your biggest <laughs> irrational fear? Hmm. I can answer that. Okay. Ever since I was young, I hated list- I hated feeling my own heartbeat. Oh, I hate that. So like when I'm like is that chilling. A fear, though? Is that a fear? I don't know. When I like, when I like feel it, I feel like it's gonna stop. So I hate. Fe- I just hate. I can't. Yeah, you just think about your own mortality a little more if you could feel your heartbeat, right? I think it, it mm. just feels like. I don't know. It feels like it can stop any second, which scares me. Mine is mirrors. Okay. Oh, 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 that one's a, that one's valid. 
Is it valid? I think so. I think that's like a pretty scary horror story trope, Have right? Have you guys ever looked in the mirror and then like waited until the, it did something? Like, come on, I know you're out there. Like, move already. What? Like, have you ever done that? Well, I never no, challenged No, I'm a normal a person. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm normal. So. Oh. Okay, well, I've done it. There's no mirror monsters, okay? <laughs> wait, wait, Come wait. on, I know did, you, you fake. <laughs> did, did you do like the Bloody Mary stuff? Like I've you, done that too. Yeah, I've, I've done, done that in like the middle of the night. It's so fucking scary. It's not that scary. Anyway, There's okay. no such thing. Okay. Our, Lily, when, when just because you're very you're brave. Kid? Yeah, I'm a little kid. I piss my. I could piss my pants doing that. It was so scary. I think I like being this creepy one. Like I'd rather <laughs> creep other, scare other people than like be scared. Oh like, yeah, I, I saw the, the SCP clip. In the mirror. <laughs> you know. Uh -oh. like, I want to be the the Asian horror girl with the black hair over her <laughs> yeah. face. Like I want to be that person. Mm. I should work at a haunted house. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Have you guys seen the scary movies where you know the mirror image like moves? Yeah. Or something. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That that is it's freaky. Terrifying. Like if that it's actually happened yeah. in real life, I think we'd all sh piss our pants. I mean, that's kind of what freaked me out. Like when I was a kid, like four or five years old, I just remember I woke up to go to the bathroom and I was bathroom was down this dark hallway but for some fucked up reason my parents set up mirrors all over that fucking hallway so as i was walking <laughs> down it i saw movement in every direction oh, and it's like what the fuck yeah that's, so that's your parents that's, fault yeah, holy that's why shit i have that fear of mirrors because i just always feel like there's something moving in it that's not me so yeah jesus it's yeah it's nice fucked up. i used to have a fear of, of like sleepwalking to like because uh, yourself when, no, no when i was younger i don't know if i still do this i used to sleepwalk a lot like so, whenever I have like sleepovers at my at my place, I would sleepwalk mm. from like imagine my room right now in the basement. I would sleepwalk from here and walk out to the living room, mm. and I would do that like that'd be something I just do, you know. Uh, and so like I didn't realize I would I could, you know I'm I'm pretty I guess like uh, like susceptible to tripping on stuff, especially late at night. But like my unconscious self can make it to like a longer distance than I can when the lights are off. <laughs> it's it's really strange. Like I, I have a fear like, of, like echolocation. Yeah, like I have a fear like sleepwalking, just like doing something fucking weird when I'm sleepwalking. Just sleepwalking. Yeah, that's in reasonable because you don't have any control. Of yourself. Yeah, I don't think I sleepwalk anymore. But like, yeah, I don't think I do it anymore. I don't know. Why did I sleepwalk when that's I was younger? you get a weighted blanket. Yeah, that's true. If you get a heavy enough blanket, you'll never move. You'll never move. It's actually <laughs> impossible to get off. You'll like, you'll, it's like a workout if you get like a 30 pound blanket. I was, uh, my bedroom in Hawaii was like very close to the, it was like ground level. So every time I'd go to like open or shut the window, which I do a lot because it got hot a lot, I was like super afraid that someone would just like poke their head up like outside of the room. Like, cause we, we'd had like, I think two people try to burgle us at, <laughs> at, at that point when I was a kid. And that like, like how fucking scary, I would just imagine like if I could see someone outside of the window, how like fucked up it would be. <laughs> so I'd like sometimes close it with like a stick to the side of the window. Oh, instead. someone kind of did that to uh, to like me when we when um I was trying to move my car out. Uh, and I got Broden in to come out to help me and eventually Michael was the one who was able to to dislodge my car from like this really tight parking yeah. spot. Um, and <laughs> while me and Broden were doing it, so our neighbor just like <laughs> like creeped up from the trees and like looked over <laughs> At, uh, at me i was like what like imagine the wall is right here and he just like oh, and I, look no. over, I see his face i'm like what and like by the time i look back he's like running back to his house i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you what people it's really weird jesus Tell, okay that reminds me of a story i was in middle school or elementary school and I, and I, and I, need, I need to take a shit, okay? I'm sorry. Got it. And I'm okay. going That's in the fine. stall, and I'm sitting down, ready to take a shit. And then I hear something up above me, and I see this little girl. On, <laughs> she stepped on the toilet to go over the wall and just look at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that is... Uh, did, did you say hi? Was, did she say hi? No, I looked up, and she immediately, like, ducked and ran away. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did she want to look? Did you? I, I 
to this day, like, I just, I don't get it. Why? Well, that actually happened to me at the airport. I, too, had to take a shit. So I was sitting in the airport shitter when this little kid looks under the stall uh, up oh at me. And I just look at him and I just shake my head. And he looks back at me. He shakes his head, too. And he crawls, he crawls back away. He's like, it's almost like he's like, oh, I made a huge mistake. I don't want to be here. And he fucking slunk away into the airport. Kids Jesus. are so weird. Kids are weird. Oh, oh are. what are the strangest things you guys have done as children or kids? Oh, the weirdest oh. things you have done as children. Aside from injuring myself, like randomly, like a lot of different ways. Oh, let me think. I wanted to fly. So. Okay. Strange. Well, that's that's <laughs> that's a good dream. Start to a bad story. <laughs> did you pursue? Did you pursue the flying though? Did you try? Like, did you jump from tall okay, heights? Yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay. Uh, you lived in a building with like um, it's like one of those buildings that houses like four families or something, right? Upper floor, mm. bottom floor, and we lived on the second floor, right? And the, there were there was a staircase, a carpeted staircase. I stood upon the top of the staircase, looking down. I'm like, I want to fly. So I actually jumped a whole flight of staircase down. And because it was carpeted, I don't think I hurt myself as much. But then after I did that, I'm like, oh, I cried because I hurt. <laughs> Mom, I can't fly. <laughs> Kids are fucking stupid. Oh, I just remembered like this really weird. Wow, this is like a repressed memory to the max. Holy shit. Okay, I tried to start a boy band in elementary school. Oh, oh. That, I think a lot of people try to do in, that. Really? Is that not weird? Okay, I was yeah, in third no. grade. I, I definitely had the idea to do that. Yeah, well. I convinced like four it's other kids to sing, like, to like learn songs and sing together. And we tried to like pretend to be as cool as. Oh, we sang a lot of Savage Garden for some reason. Oh, man. That's kind of cute. Got, that's cute. That's cute. Isn't that's that cute? Oh, you got God. further than I did. I was like, hey, we're going to start a band. And I got a, the four people together who didn't know how to play instruments. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't even a band. It was a boy band. So it was just dude, like little kids singing. No instruments involved whatsoever. That's even better. Oh, God. Oh, that's actually so funny. You guys weren't even playing stuff. You guys were just like. <laughs> in sync yeah, or we, something. We try, we, yeah, we try to be like the Asian Backstreet Boys of Haskell Aww. Elementary School. So, holy shit. What about you, Scar? The, my biggest problem or is... Michael. My memory sucks. Like, I don't have super long-term memory, so I don't remember, like, much before, like, the age of 13, I guess. Like, it's all, like, a blur. Mm -hmm. And That's so... Incredible. I don't have much to... I don't have much to remember. Like, it'd have to be my mom who, like... Be like, oh yeah, you know, little little William, he was over here and he like he like did this off the playground or like he did this or he ate this something disgusting. Like I'm sure I did like weird shit when I was younger. Everyone does. And luckily when you're younger, you're like you're like uh what you call invincible. You like cause you can like recover from like any injury. You you're literally like impervious to like long term effects. I think kids, kids watching, more, uh... you're not invincible. Yes. Don't you're jump off invisible. the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not invincible. I think you kids cannot are fly. More malleable. Though, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Which is like, why I survived jumping down. Like, like you can break, stairs. you can break bones when you're low. You can break like everything. You heal fast, but you heal like you heal super fast. fast. Um, which not like really, not Wolverine fast, kids. <laughs> just faster than a normal person. <laughs> You're not gonna fucking like close up. The oh wound. god! Uh, it wasn't me, but I remember uh, there was some kids. For some reason, Lily talking about pooping and uh, talking about dumb kids. There were like these kids at my elementary school uh, called the Poop Bandits, who mm -hmm. would just go into the bathrooms. <laughs> And smear shit <laughs> all over the walls. Jesus. <laughs> Draw like hieroglyphs and shit <laughs> all over the fucking walls. Oh my god. <laughs> and we call them the pooping bandits. <laughs> they would just like leave in the middle of the class, in cl of class to do it. And I think eventually they got caught by the teachers, but like the That's whole school was a bust. The poop band You're is finally busted. <laughs> Your school is so. I, I, <laughs> your school is weird. Is it like middle school or is it like pre kindergarten? No, elementary school. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's the a little better, bandits. I guess. The pooping bandits. The, yeah. Dude, <sighs> that's such. That's so good. That's so good. Oh. <laughs> Just like draw shit in shit. <laughs> oh, kids are dumb. Yeah. Like, really? I, I feel like you went to like a crazy school. Like, I don't even know what. Is that like normal? Did you guys have shit like that? 
Uh, I don't think so. Well, okay. In college, uh, I was I was taking some art classes, and in like in this school, it was like very um, I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't like practical art, more just like creative expression, etc. And this girl okay. uh, like you drew entire portraits using her period blood. So I've heard of that. Too. Oh, like that. Yeah, that is. I feel like not that far off Isn't from the poop band. It's. It doesn't a famous artist, famous artist, do that. I've I wouldn't heard, be like, surprised. I read an article on that. Yeah, yeah I forget her name, uh, but there's. Uh, oh, okay. A lot oh, of weird. A lot of weird that's, shit happened back in college, man. Like there is another mm. dude who uh, took pictures of like luxury brands and then would. <clears throat> <laughs> you would then ejaculate onto them and then bring said pictures into class for critique. Bro, he was yeah. a four channer for sure. Oh, what wow. the fuck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, a lot of weird shit. Was man. he like, hey, this week has been come on Gucci? <laughs> and then the next <laughs> week is like, not on Supreme oh, no, no, this was, week. <laughs> Thank, thankfully, I, I, it wasn't in my class, but I, you were able to go oh. into other classes to see it, and uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a series; it was a single uh, oh. multi work oh, thing. I see. That so, is yeah. anything in the name of art, I guess. I can Pretty work much. out. Oh, I don't, I don't like anything with like bodily fluids. I Ye feel like that's just oh, that's reasonable. That seems yeah. like just a health hazard. Not, yeah. not the biggest fan. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of. Yeah. For just telling stories. <sighs> I had an art story, but I forgot it. <laughs> well, anyone else? <laughs> um, I, I think I feel like maybe instead of me having bad long-term memory, maybe I just have re repressed bad memories of myself yeah. when I was younger. You know? Yeah, your stuff is just so yeah. bad that you can't possibly <laughs> yeah, remember it. Was it. Like, it was just really boring. Because, like, you talk about your, your childhood, like, and I was in a private middle school, like elementary to middle school, I think. Um, and like, I didn't have, I think my graduating class at the end, very end, like eight, uh, going into high school was uh, 80 people. So like, I was oh, like wow. very kind, somewhat sheltered. Like, I don't know, I didn't know what public school education was like, you know? I was ah, like, hey yeah. guys, we're going like on a, a yearly uh, trip to like Corpus Christi in Texas or like some random location where we just go chill. I'm like, oh, normal people don't do this. Like normal public schools don't do this. Like I thought it was just normal. My parents like really wanted the best for me. Yeah. That's really cute. That was That's good. Sweet. That I remember like, like wholesome uh, I had like problems in high school because I hated school. I was super depressed. I hated people there. I just hated it. And I begged my mom like, mom, can I go to private school, please? Can I go to a boarding school or like any, like just some kind of private institution, right? But we didn't have the money. <laughs> oh, okay. So like, let's say you you guys have kids. I don't remember if you guys wanted kids in the future, but let's say you do. Would you no. like put them into private school, like private tutoring? Hell no. Or would you give them like, you, you would want to give them like the Hell full fucking public no. education. You, the private school in the island I'm from, fucking ten thousand dollars a year eleven thousand dollars a year for middle school and high school those kids grew up to be drug addicts they are not captains of industry they smoke crack on fucking weekends because their parents the parents are so rich there that they just like leave the kids alone and they go on, off on business and the kids are just at home with fucking a million dollars from their parents and they can just get as many drugs as they want anywhere they have all the money and like all the space to like have drug parties. So that was the nice, that was a private school where I was from. What? I think you just put them into public school and like fucking coin flip if they turn out <laughs> yeah. good. To shape them. That's the best you can hope for. Oh, mm. Yeah. My first week of high, or high school was like huge, like culture shock because mm -hmm. I elementary and middle school I was never like a great student but like the schools I went to were like pretty good for like their magnet programs and stuff and the high school I went to also had a magnet program but it was mixed with like the local kids and I the started school a little late because their program started in like August when normal high school started like September and so I was a little behind and I just remember I was in this art class first period first class in high school ever and it's with it's like a mixture it's like the a class where like both local and magnet students could be in 
I was sitting next to this um, this girl who was part of the local program, and she took out a lead pencil, took off the eraser, and unscrewed the top, put a line of cocaine onto her mirror, and snorted it in the first period. Uh, <laughs> and I, yeah, as I was what? 13, 12 or 13 at the time, what? seeing this like very large, <laughs> probably senior of high school, like just slamming cocaine, like at nine in the morning. Are you sure uh, you, that's what that's you saw? That's how you get your day uh, no, started. I, I remember clearly our teacher did not give a single fuck. She was just in the corner making her own pieces and she, she light, she's like poured out the Coke from her lead pencil onto her mirror, lined it up and then just snorted it. Okay. That is F. Wow. <laughs> that, 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 that reminded me of a fucking story, a similar, uh, not really. That's actually, fu I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a hard drug like in class. That was my first time. Uh, and he, also, that was like the craziest thing I'd ever seen since, to be honest. Like that first day really set the tone for the rest of high yeah. school, but I had never seen anything like it since that first day. It was crazy. <laughs> I was like, I was day like, am, one. I, am I in prison? Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Dude, that was my first day of high school ever. One day freshman. I got to school and there was a campus wide lockdown because like four or five fights broke out on campus and it caused like a riot. And it was a, a, a school wide lockdown and just everyone got like shut in classrooms fucking first day. And there, there were so many there were like gang fights breaking around around the school. And then it never happened again. I was like, oh my God, I'm ready to be in fucking hell for four years. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like walk out of high school with like tattoos and shit, like <laughs> the hardest fuck. The tear yeah, drop like, on it, my Honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't nearly as crazy as I thought it was gonna be based on that first day. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that the first that's day. reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty but bad. Shit, that was like wild. Do you guys have like a lot of dumb kids at your high school? Oh, we're just like gay, we're like gatekeepers. Like riff, like like people who's huh? like no, 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 people who are like doing dumb shit like oh. constantly. Oh yeah, yeah. We had like a good f fair share of people who just like you know fuck off and do whatever's. I feel like which well, I was one of. My parents moved to a neighborhood specifically for the high school. Like the schools there were really good, oh. so I went to a pretty decent high school where it was. Oh, not people are, like, much paying like, attention trouble really mm -hmm. i don't oh. recall like any big like thing happening like we had a we had a little christian club a philosophy club like you know, uh, there were really some of the kids there had really nice cars because oh. a lot of the parents were wealthy there was like one thing where we had like two cafeterias right the north cafeteria and the south cafeteria and I don't make the rules. All the Asians just went to the South Cafeteria. <laughs> I don't make the rules. Reminds no, me of was... Korea. Nice. And they called it South Korea. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's so funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> so one oh, time, because like sometimes like the North Cafeteria has like different food, right, from the South mm. Cafeteria, like like the where they sell it. So one time I went to the North Cafeteria to buy food, and it was like in another like country because i was so used to the people in the south cafeteria that it was like a shift it was very interesting and then like once you found your spot in the cafeteria like everyone sat there like you had to sit at your spot so <sighs> Ooh, the clicks the like fucking clicks mm. yeah. yeah i think our table was like we liked the anime and we were kind uh, of quiet and introverted you know unless you had the mag kinda, club without the we title like reading books you know, <laughs> you know. You made the mag club in high school. Mag club? Manga, anime, and gaming. That's a club? <laughs> we yeah, we I had one it. of those. Didn't know that. Yeah, you just had you just had it, Lily, but Did without it. the label. When I went to the community college, I was so excited because like I liked the anime, but there was no anime club in our high school, right? So I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna join the anime club in college, right? So you know, this is you know young Lily here. I, I was like 17 when I went to community college. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to join the anime club. I sit down and then like. And then I left. I don't. Oh, fuck. I don't remember why I left, but it was not what I thought it was. I, I I don't remember exactly the reason, but I ended up not having interest in it, and I just. Uh, I just hmm. There's a, probably a couple hmm. reasons why that'd be the There's case. Yeah. Some reasons. <clears throat> yeah. I yeah. I tried joining an anime club in high school, and I remember sitting down. I was like, Oh, this is too much. 
too much. This is too <laughs> too far. Too much. Too much. Too, I you guys can't. are too intense. I'm like I dabble. These guys are too far in, so I I never came back. Uh, <sighs> good times. Good times. Good times. Yeah, good times. And now we've gone from those good times to our current our current time. Do you, do you, do you guys feel like you're at a good spot in life? In life. I've never been happier. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say I've never been happy. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think growing up, I've always felt like I was never really uh, good at anything that was like that could be turned into a career, I guess. Mm. So I like bounced between like majors that I thought would make sense, but didn't really. And then when I graduated, I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't figure out. I still don't know what I want to do. So I bounced from like shitty job to shitty job. And then like I finally found streaming and like this is like the thing that I think makes the most sense to me. So like obviously there's huge ups and downs when it comes to like being a public figure and stuff. But overall, I would say I, I, I would say I'm really happy with where I am right now. Oh, sure. oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It, like, it's a bunch of like recent success. Is it, is that why you're? No, like... not 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 even the recent success, but like even just like I was like, oh wow, I'm like blessed with like knowing just really good people in general, really good friends. Because like you hear about like a lot of the issues that come with like being a public figure and like the mm -hmm. social climbing and like all those other things that like the things that wear down your mental health and stuff, which still exists to an extent. But like I think like. Of the people that I associate with and call friends, like I, I would consider myself very lucky. I think sure. our friend group is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Except for Sorry. some people, am I right, guys? Oh, that's what Toast would say. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I had, to, I had to put some myself people. in. You know, no, I'm missing Toast right now. He used to I be. be to guys, I can be Toast. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> now say something racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink a shot of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> hmm? Um, what are we talking about? How much we hate women. Can you start? I respect women. I don't think that's what he would say. I woman. respect women sometimes. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that no, is wait, what no, Toast would say. Don't, okay, don't say that out of context, please. I think that women and men should be treated as equal. They do it, right? He would do something like that. No, and then he would wait. wait. He forgot. Yeah, and he would and then... wait, and then he'd be like, except for... Except, blah, 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 yeah. Except, like but... But... <laughs> mm -hmm. So... Okay. I know, I know what's been all in all of our minds recently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna ask you, Peter, if it's been on your mind too. We have a lot of fucking insects in our household that we've been killing. You know? Oh yeah, insects. It, what did you insects. think I said? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I thought you we... said it. I thought you were going to say incels. I thought no. he said incest. <laughs> oh. I thought he said it. You guys, oh. different. I heard insects, okay? Oh my god. I like, I, no, I heard what? insects, but I thought he was going to say incels. So, oh, yeah. okay. Uh, well, let me just a lot about. Somebody is like, yeah, what's one on our, been on our mind? Incest. Incest. Been on everyone's like, mind. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we've had like, have you guys had problems yes. with bugs ever since like the the weather has been Summer. like the fucking hot? Yes, until recently though, actually, because we bought a bunch of those fly killing traps and uh, the tennis rackets that tase. Uh, yeah. We so, have we have some of those, have those too. too. And I think we set an example with some of the flies in the kitchen or some shit because we haven't seen uh, much recently. You know, but mm? yeah, after I think Michael killed forty. I think yesterday we we haven't had any. Like it's really yeah. low. No, I've seen a couple. You've seen a small but it's amount. Low. No, it's yeah, like I think way there less. were three. I can tell. There's not none kill. in my room right yeah, now. Yeah, it's yeah. I I spent like forty five minutes or an hour just fucking just fucking genociding every <laughs> last fly in the house. And then he you, collected the flies in a cup and mm, wanted to yes. show me. Yeah, but it was too gross to show anybody. I didn't so want to see it. Have show. you had a variety though? Because I. There, I feel like there's like a biblical plague happening in my house sometimes. I had a grasshopper in my room 
I had a cockroach in my room. There were bees in our living room. We had <laughs> bees. flies, normal flies, bees, the crickets locust and shit. That. Like I, yeah, I, I, it's like I'm just getting swept through our fucking house right now. There like was in a cockroach by in Toast's room, a mm -hmm. big one apparently. Yeah, oh yeah, huge. like if Toast lives in the second floor, if there's a cockroach in his room, no one's safe. Yeah, yeah, it was I one of the, on the big floor. Oh, there are definitely cockroaches in our house. Uh, yeah. Yes. Like, we're getting some exterminators, by the way, for to fix this soon, and we've already kind of done all the cleaning tried, and like, stuff. Yeah, we try cleaning, we, we don't put out food anymore, we take out the trash, like, there's it, only so much you can do, it, and they just don't stop. But we found a trail of ants in our house, and, like, I was oh. wondering, where did they come from? And we eventually, the trail got, like, one day got really big, and, and Michael was able to follow Holy it to the back shit. of our couch, and just randomly, there's a hole in the wall. And that's yeah, where they came like, from. And I was just like, what, what the fuck? There's a, just a hole in your hole? You know, it's like like a really tiny hole. I think it's like uh, like they didn't seal. You know, like the when you build a house, there's like a layer of like wood you put in corners, like a oh, tiny yeah. little chunk. They didn't like seal that well. So they're just able to come out from under fucking anywhere they want. There's also Saikuno, when he came over for dinner, uh, found a, um, found an, a secondary trail of ants. What? That, no, no, that... <laughs> he said, guys, I think there's a cyclical problem where we use the fly trap to kill the flies, and then the secondary trail of ants was going up to the fly trap to eat the flies' dead bodies. <laughs> so, so you get rid of one, oh, <laughs> the other circle comes of life, in. dude. Yeah, that's just. Dude, the circle I hate of life. Bugs so yeah. much. Uh, yeah. It, it's so bad. It hasn't I, I, been I, a problem except for like the last week got like really yeah, bad. Yeah. But it's because yeah, of the heat, right? I think it's the heat. I. Yeah. So I got people neutered recently mm -hmm. and my vet is like uh, within walking distance. So as wow. I was walking him there, it was like Lord of the Flies, just thick clouds of flies everywhere. It was disgusting. I think Fuck it ha it has rough. to be the heat. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think like, it's explicit. Sometimes those fly traps, like the really good ones, can attract even more flies. <laughs> oh. I, I read, I've read a lot of reviews that say be careful with that. Like, it's good if you want like you want them to attract flies but like away from you you know what i mean yeah i don't know mm. maybe we can yeah, leave I them just, outside mm -hmm. i just hate bugs so much me too yeah i they remember i lived when i lived with like box box and mm. jemmy and robert and everything in that house we had a we had a well when i first moved in i saw a cockroach in my bathtub and that was okay. the first sign and then the second sign was like i just noticed this like black moving thing on the kitchen wall and I'm like, ooh, what's this? And I walk toward huge ant infestation. Huge. And I'm oh. like, oh I was so stressed. Ugh. Yeah. But I hate so many bugs. Do you feel like it's a privilege to be to have our life only be stressed by insects? Of I said course. insects. By, by incest the way. is my only concern. Yeah. Oh that my is, god, guys. <laughs> Some would consider that a plus my privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Only concerned. Yeah, that is, that is it. I think it's Definitely. A for yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, wait, would you prefer to move somewhere where there, where like there is no ins? I, where would you move that there's no ins? Antarctica. In yeah, you'd have to go to the tundra, right? Actually, really cold only, climates. Only cold climate. Like uh, when I was in Flagstaff for, because I went from Hawaii to Flagstaff, Arizona, which is up in the mountains in Arizona, so it's cold as fuck. It's like seven thousand feet. Oh, um, you were, and I. I came from tropical to freezing and I didn't know that other people just don't live with bugs like in their life whatsoever. <laughs> I didn't see, I think I didn't see a single bug for my semester there. I can... Like fucking crazy. Okay. How little bugs. That, sounds, that sounds great. I can see Michael's history with bugs by the way he reacts to it. He sees a fly, he'll, okay, this actually happened. We were just chilling, right? Talking. There's a fly buzzing around. Michael stops talking, looks at the fly, and grabs it and crushes mm. it. Like, just in midair. Like, holy like, shit. What like a kung fuck? fu movie. And then when he sees a bug, he'll, like, <laughs> take his shirt off. And, <laughs> and then he'll fucking kill it. Shirts and pants make oh, very gonna, good weapons. I thought you were going to flex on it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is my home. He has to get See what you're messing with. And shirt off just to fucking kill whatever is like in the vicinity. I'm like, yeah. Jesus Wait, that's, fucking Christ. That's a fucking Clothing Chad move. <laughs> yeah. That's super Chad, man. <laughs> Clothing is really effective to kill bugs. You yeah, just like just whip whipping them it. With it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I, I, the Chad I was working out of for like a year or two had no bug protection whatsoever just like open holes in the walls and 
like because the it was like uh really bad uh like window material to make up like the door and an entire wall so they'd just get in any fucking time uh, oh that sounds awful jesus I, that's pretty just, bad i wish i could just wipe out mosquitoes completely forever mosquitoes. I, I don't think they're part of any ecosystem they just suck all the time they're just parasites mm -hmm. actually yeah. just parasites actually yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Oh, oh I come from uh, Texas, and Texas, especially during the, the like spring summertime, you have a lot of mosquitoes like all the time. And like, I didn't have like much of an ant problem or a fly problem. It was just a mosquito problem. Mm -hmm. They're dicks. I hate. Apparently, they, they, suck. they like love my blood, or at least there was a period <laughs> of time where they did, and I would just it'd be miserable. They're just so invasive and I, I, mm -hmm. I think they sometimes prefer certain people to others oh I, like, I think so too I think so too yeah I, I, I don't know if it's something about like maybe how you use Scott, like your, you have nice tasting blood or yeah I'll be sure to date a vampire and tell her that Dude, like, I wouldn't even mind if they sucked my blood if they just, like, left it at that. But no, they have to leave these itchy fucking welts oh, all yeah. over my body, too, you know? Just, Ooh. like, take my blood and leave. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mosquitoes are, like, yeah. the only thing I'm allergic to because my legs swell up like crazy. <gasps> oh, that's so it's, it's You're allergic bad. to mosquitoes? Yeah. I got, a, I got a mosquito bite on my eyebrow once. It looked like I got hit in the face with a softball. Oh my like, God. it was Dude, so bad. How was your time on Oahu? How did you, weren't there mosquitoes in the city? <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a lot of suffering in Oahu <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sucks. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's, it was, it's not great. I don't see myself ever living in like a tropical climate because uh, of mosquitoes. That's, yeah. that's I would not want to live there either. No. Yeah. I think I think I would like to live somewhere that's a little bit colder, just the yeah for for bugs and live, personal preference. Yeah, I would live. Yeah, I like to live somewhere cold. with like seasons. Like I want to see autumn trees. Oh, you do? Yeah, if it could just oh, subtract yeah. summer I, out of the seasons, like I'm good summer. with the other three. I think other three is, is good. The worst season. Yeah. So like, is that like what New York is? It, is New York like uh, like East Coast? I think. Yeah, I used to live in you know New Jersey, right? So I got the four seasons. Moved to California, and it's like perpetually hot. No need for winter coats, sort of thing. California only has two seasons. It's it's the summer season and then it's the spring. Like the, I guess the like spring slash fall. Cold, yeah, slightly cold. Yeah, slightly. slightly it's like it's, it's like cold, cold spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cold spring. Yeah. You know, I actually really enjoy it, especially except for during like the very hottest time, like the, this oh, month. Jesus. If it's this month didn't exist, worse. I'd be happy. Yeah. Oh, holy shit! This month. I think California's weather is great in like even like Novemberish, maybe October, November. December. When oh, it's yeah. like colder, the, but it's like not too cold. That's a nice. The fall is really nice. Yeah. Yep. I do miss the orange leaves still. Like I, I miss mm. that. It's like really aesthetic. We don't uh, have that. Yeah. Uh, I miss snow. I wish we had snow. I miss snow, snow too. I, had no, one I think year you miss snow, snow until you live with snow. Yeah, I, yes, well, I, I lived never with it for with one snow, year. I never had know. a drive in it or anything. So that I was lived nice. With snow. I liked snow. Uh, hmm. oh, yeah. I grew up where. Have you like, never saw snow? Sorry, <laughs> No, I think I, I grew up where snow was so rare that they like recorded the year it happened. It was like yeah, oh, yeah. It was like oh, twelve years ago on this time was snowfall. Yeah. I'm like oh, okay. Same. It, uh, it on my island, it would snow like once every like five, ten years, yeah. just right on the peak on the top. Yeah. And you're like what the fuck is that? But, but That's like, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think. Badass. Um. You know, like the East Coast is like so much colder than the West Coast. Yeah. I bought mm -hmm. Temi because I'm like, oh, Temi's going to love the East Coast in November. It was so cold. I gave her clothes and she was so cold and shivering. She hated going outside. And I'm like, oh. wow, interesting. Okay, so she's like used to like <laughs> California. Uh. I don't, she's also a Pomeranian with like a fuck ton of fur. So I didn't think it was. A... Yeah, very cold. Yeah, she prefers that. Oh, actually... Temi, I, I feel so bad for Temi right now because we're killing so many flies and she fucking hates the uh, zapping the noise. sound of z zapping or tasers I, as okay, well. Yesterday, um, when you we were killing flies and we heard the zapping, she would not leave my lap. Like I gave her treats. I tried to like, you know, play with her, whatever. She was just shaking nonstop and just wouldn't leave my lap. And I felt so bad. That's why Jamie's taking care of her right now until we fix this. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. My baby. Uh, I... Uh, like we're hiring some people to come in like a couple days, and they'll, they'll deal with the outside right? and and a little bit of the inside. So should be good by then. And like honestly, yeah. this stuff should pass in like 
30 days, I think. Yeah. Just yeah. I, yeah I, I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind ants, but cockroaches are, are a fucking the line gets Not a fat. And Huge. Like, oh yeah, not fuck cock. Things that skitter. Right? Yeah, no, the skitter, you. the crunch. And then like yeah. nature's like extra fuck you is like they give cockroaches wings. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Fly. For some God awful yeah. reason. Weird. But August should be like the hottest month, right? So. Yeah, I think so. Passes. It's like yeah. a heat wave specific right now. So. Autumn is approaching, so thank God for that. Yeah, July yeah. is supposed to be the hottest month of the year, but somehow we're stuck in a heat wave in August. Sometimes I feel like August can be hotter too. July, August, yeah. both are just terrible. Just miserable months. Yeah. Plus, Especially like, since we're stuck indoors. Right? And no, nothing to really. Mm -hmm. No conventions, nothing. I do miss conventions. I did. I was looking forward to TwitchCon this year, actually. Me, Me too. too. Oh, God. Right? It's like a good way for all of our friends and stuff to just gather and Ooh, chill. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I like seeing people I don't get to see more than once or twice a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. not like you guys in particular, because I see you guys every day. Like, or I like, yeah. I'll see you, mo like, kind of see you guys every day. Um, but like, the people I get to see we like don't once see a them year. Every day. Shut up. I see you almost every day. Um, uh, the people I get to see like very few amounts of times like hey, what's up man? How's it been? Oh shit? You're married now stuff like that like just shoot the shit with people like, you, you know, it's a good good way yeah. to get out like all those parties oh. drinking catching up. It's nice Maybe next That's year guys. Yeah, maybe maybe the year, year after That's the that. thing. Maybe I don't even I don't even know when the next like public event We'll gonna be, I think most right? people are betting on EDC early next spring. Like, I think like May, April, May. Uh, uh yeah, May twenty first. But that depends if like cases are down, right? And there's like yeah. actual, you know. I mean, they've already kind that of progress. confirmed it's going to be twenty first, twenty third. I think if they have to cancel again, that's going to look really bad for them. But um, well, I don't blame them though. Yeah, I still think it would be dependent on how yeah, of course. the bell we... curve is, which is sad because people think that masks are a government the entire conspiracy. Time... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we've been Those here and then go outside or something, like, especially where we live, always groups of people and I never see masks, like rarely. Dude, I went to the dealership, the BMW dealership I went to. The, the Everyone's wearing masks there, all the, the employees. People come in, like, kind of maybe are. And, like, the, their main guy who's talking to me is just, like, he wears the mask, but, like... Sorry, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Is it the one with the nose? No, no, okay. So, it's like this, and he just wears it like this. And I'm, like... <laughs> ah. It's, like, I, extremely effective. Uh, nice. My chin is protected. And I'm just, like, uh, oh, yeah. So, it's only visible here and around. I'm, like, what... What's, what was the Sometimes point? Nice. I see Beard. people just do this, like on their mouth, mm -hmm. and that's it. I see that a lot. Oh, God. I also do see the chin one too. And I'm like, I get like, the chin one is just the chin fucking. Kinda like, why even wear it? Just don't yeah, wear it. <laughs> it's like what you do in the car, you know, because it's uncomfortable and you're not going to talk to anyone. Not when like he's talking to me. He's like, okay, can you sign this and sign this and release for him? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I'm like wearing the mask. He's not really just fucking. <laughs> That's so funny. It's depressing though, because I feel like like our friend group is really good about staying indoors, social distancing. Oh yeah, we're really good masks, at that. <laughs> and then just like, but nothing's getting better. <laughs> so it's like kind of like yeah, fuck. frustrating. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really sucks. I wonder if there's gonna be like a third wave at this rate where we want to all get out again. Third, <laughs> two. I can fucking boogaloo. see it. Yeah, electric boogaloo. I, oh. can, I can see it. see a third wave, especially <laughs> for LA. Yep. Oh, yeah. no, especially for Florida. Oh, Florida's already on their third One wave. One thing I do like, though, is like um, wearing masks is, in Asia, I think, is a lot more mm. common. Like, I, 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 I like wearing masks, but it was not normal here right but now i think it's normalized it's normalized to uh, wear masks. in japan cool. like because they wear masks so much they never needed to make rules you know for, for they people. just already wore wearing yeah. the masks they already had like their culture was wearing masks and like that enabled it so there was never a need for quarantine from what i was told did or very japan not amount. get quarantine i don't think so maybe like I'm a, sure they had a measures in place really but like nothing amount. nearly as strict as we need to Mm. Yeah, definitely not as much as we should have. Uh -huh. Dead. True. I'm like uh, looking at it right now. Yep. 
Oh, there's a uh, hot topics underneath the. Uh, All right, let's see. Deep what are they? Where are they? Fortnite <laughs> slash Apple, <laughs> a really spicy topic. Have you guys seen that thing? <sighs> yes. Where they forcibly Fortnite like forcibly implemented their own transaction system, um, subverting apples <laughs> on purpose because they had a fucking cinematic ready. Yeah, <laughs> they knew what was gonna happen. They're fucking crazy. And like the reason they do it is because of what Apple does, right? And what Google does. They sh- their yeah their platform shaves thirty percent off the top. Yeah, of microtransactions. And you can, right? you can you can argue if thirty percent is a lot or a little. But that's like, a lot. yeah, Fortnite is arguing that's too much. It, it got to the point where, like, if you bought stuff, if you bought like, uh, like Fortnite points, what are they called? Whatever. V-Bucks? V-Bucks, V-Bucks. Sorry. And oh, I mean, I don't know. If, you know that's what they call. If you buy V Bucks, they will send you an email uh, about like how it's cheaper buying it from their website. And when you bu- when you get surveys, they'll be like, "How did you buy V Bucks? Did you buy it from the Apple Store, which is going to cost you a lot more, or did you buy it from us, which is going to be a lot cheaper?" Like it tells you that. Like it was like they went to war. Wow. Ugh. Thirty wow, percent. So strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but it's. They took like thirty percent is a lot, man. Someone took. I didn't know it was thirty percent. I'm pretty sure it's a very high amount. From my understanding, Steam also cuts thirty yeah. percent as well. Steam? Yep. Yeah. yeah okay. Developers earn seventy percent from paid apps. Apple came, contains thirty percent commission. Uh huh. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. From controlling your own app distribution. But I do kind of feel like. Something about this whole thing kind of makes me feel like Epic is trying to seem like oh, yeah. the, the savior here. But I don't want to like, side with either side. Yeah, yeah for me, it's both like a slapping of them contest shitty. between two like corporations. Like, yeah. which, which corporation are you cheering for? Yeah. Uh, I just wish there was a. I wish like the percent wasn't that much, but also like maybe they gave back to the consumers, which are us, right? Like we don't care that much because oh. we're not developing stuff. I just googled all yeah. three, by the way. Steam. Google Play and Apple are all thirty percent. So thirty percent is like the industry wow. average, which is Damn, insane. They must get a lot of money. No Holy shit. Which is why, like you know, Epic Store was like, oh, "We're gonna make our own platform, and uh, mm. people are gonna definitely download it." And then they realized no one did it. Like fuck, <laughs> we need to get exclusives. We need to get all these people to like download our thing. Oh, yeah, apparently iPhones with Fortnite because they removed Fortnite from the store <laughs> so they're, it's like flappy bird effect where they took it down from the store and now iphones with fortnite are being sold on like ebay at, at a premium that is so <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny oh that reminds me of uh when flappy bird was taken yeah, off flappy the bird. app store and there was the, uh, there was like a ps4 demo for a horror game i forgot what it's called it's supposed to be like the silent hill like teaser and then the, that game got canceled <laughs> so any ps4 with that demo like sold for a lot too. It's like a little Ooh. weird. Yeah, that's. Oh yeah, supply and demand. That's just how it is. <laughs> An interesting. Uh, yeah, supply and demand question. Hmm. Uh, oh, PT. That's right. Hmm, PT. Yeah. Do you guys, you guys have probably seen shit from it, but yeah. <laughs> Do we think uh, offline TV should make an offer for the custom Fall Guys skin? It's not possible. Did you see? Oh, wait. So, so people it's don't like know, Fall Guys 000. did a brand thing where they're like, any brands want us to put you guys in the game, we'll take any offer for this charity. Um, and then we'll put whatever you want in the game. So, Mr. of course, Beast? yeah, within eight hours, Mr. Beast was like, here's 100 grand. And immediately, all the offers are off the table. And then, like, oh, the funniest offer was Mr. Beast did that. And then some, like, um, uh, like, Hentai, top hentai website with did like a hundred and like ten or something, and Fall Guys immediately was like, "No, you guys are not allowed to bid. We will not have your shit in the game." And I thought it was fucking hilarious. But then oh, Ninja no. came in and Aim Labs came in at like two hundred k. Mr. Beast oh. went up, and then Ninja and Aim Labs combined for four hundred k. I think that's the top bid right now. And I'm just like, no, no, no. It's actually been outdone. So there was a bidet company called Tushy that donated, but I think now it's up even more. It's like closer to like half a mil. These dude, Fall Guys, their marketing team is just fucking loving this. Just they're no, they're so fucking good. They're so smart. They're so good (laughs) at what they do. The number one is FGTV at four hundred twenty-two thousand. What the fuck? They're, 
they're because they're like not only making the money but like it's the amount of uh attention they're Spoiler. getting from this yeah. yeah from the campaign it's like holy shit and they're getting paid for it they're geniuses oh well, it's going to charity I don't know. who are these guys it's, go, it's going to charity too oh. which, like which, which well, is just good know. pr uh, you, can though, cost, you know cost, cost. even better it's yeah. fucking they're great they're genius dude really okay smart. wait wait so shroud actually went out and said he thinks this fall guys doesn't have a future unless they add maps that get, he thinks that game is gonna die and i'm like oh probably i think so yeah, I got, add maps. I got they need to add already. more maps they gotta add more maps they add, either add more maps or not even like obstacle courses or just other mini games mm -hmm. i think that's just yeah. more, more, games. Yeah. more games there should be a private lobbies in my opinion where yes, you just play that, with like 16 friends yes. and then compete among 60 friends yes, 16 mm -hmm. friends I like, like that. Oh. Private lobbies yeah i, I I would play it again for private yeah. lobbies. Dude, the, the only map they've ever added was they added a new final map, which was the exact same as an earlier map, and they just added that the 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 bottom Falling part panels. falls, and that's it. That's mm -hmm. the only new map they've added. I'm just like, what the fuck? They guys? they gotta be they, working they on that more. Yeah, one hundred percent. Until like, I feel like sometimes games have hype periods and that can easily. Oh, remember fall. like uh oh god, you guys remember the game Realm Royale? No. Oh, yes. that game was so fun, and then they killed it. It was like a, oh. a battle royale game made by. Oh my god! Wait, yeah, I remember. God, I don't remember uh, even the company. Hi, was it High Res? So, yeah, I think so. They like they got super big. Like we're talking like they hit the fucking in incredible number, like four hundred k on Twitch. Uh, everyone fucking loved it. It and was it, like a. They had skills. Yeah, it was High Res. Yeah, yeah. They had it was, it, was, it was skills in VR, and if you die, you turn to a chicken, and you and if you waited ten seconds, you would res, but you ran around as a chicken trying to dodge everyone else and like after you killed someone you would have to go hunt the chicken it was really funny <laughs> um but then like they did a they lot of things issues. and they killed the game they did constant patches yeah, yeah. oh Th nice their biggest nice. issue was they would literally introduce like meta changing patches like every week and it like disrupted the flow a lot of unpopular patches happened people just stopped playing the game it was, ah, it was bad but, like, Damn, that so. must feel like shit but, like it's, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy yeah, cool. i feel like there's always games that have like hype Remember the Maple Story two hype period where everyone was Oh, I was forgot. Playing, there's like, a Maple Story. There was also um that one music game, audition sequel. You know what? The there's an audition sequel. Not sequel. No, 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 no. I want to say a sequel. Like spiritual successor. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck was it called? Audition online? No. I'm looking for it. I don't remember. This was like four or five years ago. Everyone was like playing it all of a sudden. Um, God, do you guys not know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I, like I, I don't play I'm rhythm or music games. Uh, is it too revival? I don't even know. Um, all I know is like, it seems like the only games that have lasting power are like <laughs> the games with infinite content loops. So like, and then Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, well, which Minecraft. is an infinite yeah, content. That's true. Like, Minecraft makes these, like, waves. It's like, well, no content update for, oh. like, eight months. And then, like, you know, every four months, people are like, I haven't played Minecraft in a while. I haven't played Minecraft in a minute. Yeah, Let's let get on back. You look at the... Yeah, I love getting... I just get rehyped for Minecraft all the time. <laughs> it's, it, like, every, like, year or so, I'm like, yeah, let's hop on. And then I play the shit out of it and then forget about yeah, it. Yeah, like, and then you look at the videos that, like, there are so many Minecraft videos. I feel like... Like twenty percent of YouTube is Minecraft videos. It's actually insane. There's a lot of Minecraft videos <laughs> out there. What like the a fuck? stupid amount. I'm still <laughs> trying to look for it. Oh my god. Oh shit. Do you guys remember Battleborn? It was like a game that came out right around Overwatch time. It was supposed to, and then Overwatch came out and just killed the game because it did everything that like Battleborn did and better. I didn't even better. see this game. I found it! What's it called? All, oh I just remember huh? God. All pop All Star. All K-pop all, all star. I remember. All K-pop no, all wait. stars. Yeah, all K-pop the game. All K-pop, all K-pop. Yeah, it died. Oh yeah, I never heard of this. I never really? heard of this. Oh my god. The the last thing it ever tweeted was a picture of Angel's Kimmy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know. That's funny. Like that. Or no, was it all K-pop all star? Yeah, it was a game made by all K-pop. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, it was, something it was, like, like that. Really popular, and then it died. <laughs> Ah, it is what it is. I think the only yeah. staying power game this year has been Valorant, Minecraft. right? Minecraft. Oh, 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 like this year, this year. Minecraft is oh, always yeah. like, you know, League Minecraft, is always like this. Yeah. People will always come back to certain games. Mm -hmm. Minecraft especially. Yeah. League has Minecraft like, period. 
Oh, what? there's so much replayability. Uh, isn't uh, I found out the other day League has 150 champions now? I think a little bit more. That's really? so many. You know? Yeah, that's more actually there more than I thought. Wasn't those chances to voice one? No, don't worry, Lily. They'll just remake. They'll remake one, and then immediately Sag. the next time they remake Lux, you're in, Lily. Mm, remake Lux. Today we're coming Lux out with too. League with Lux two. Yeah. <laughs> just, just with visual updates. Team two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we are hitting the hour mark. Oh, so, we are. Or, yeah. I mean, Any uh, parting words? Well, I mean, you, you don't want to keep talking? You know, there's a lot of questions still left, you know? Oh, yeah, let, yeah, me, like, uh, you know, let, let me ask. What are you guys, what, are you, what have you guys been watching recently? What have you guys been reading, watching? You know, anything anything cool? Oh, um, we've been watching the, the new Netflix the anime. Pretender. Yeah, it's like a scam artist anime. Really, really well done. Pretty good. It's, it's really cool looking. Very good. I recommend yeah, it. Promising. What's it called again? The Great, the Great, Great Pretender, Pretender on Netflix. Okay. I, I watched um, like a little bit of the first episode. And I was like, "Wow, this is animated so well for like a yeah. Netflix Beautiful. original." You know, I have. Yeah. I remember the like it's Devil May Cry Baby, which has like it's very artistic style, but like it's like weird. It's but all like, weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great Pretender is like cla like very polished anime style. Extremely it's good. good looking. Yeah, we've been watching that. Um, yeah. What about uh, you guys? Yeah. What about you guys? Oh. You first, Scar. Uh, well, I uh, great pretend. Okay, you know what? Oh, really? uh, only thing is there anything I've been I've been looking at recently or watching or reading? Um, I always do the same stuff when it comes to reading. I'll try to branch out, but it's like it's so hard, honestly. Like the same, like book. There's like a the same there's a running the there's a running web genre. novel that I've been reading since like two years ago. It's called The Wandering Inn. If you look at the number of words in that web novel, it is like three Game of Thrones back to back. Holy shit. Holy back. shit. Like the number of words is like nuts. And when I think about it, I'm like, damn. Like, I wish I could reread it without knowing anything. You know? Like when you've seen like, uh, a really it's good. It's one of those really good. Yeah, it's ones. one of those things where you're like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. And like, what would you guys, if you could pick one of those, what, like, would that be your one? <laughs> I think like you could do one like story. I like Ooh. Harry Potter a lot. Surprisingly, oh. well, yeah. really, it's super enjoyable to read. Like when you read it, it's like you're so immersed. Like it's like a fucking movie playing out in your head. I don't know. Oh, that's yeah. how I felt when I read Harry Potter. It, I think yeah. She did a good job of making expecting. like such a fantasy yeah. world. You know, just ignore her Twitter yeah. for what she posts. And we're all good. <laughs> yeah, I, I just this is like art separating the art <laughs> from the artist for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or something. I, I've here's so many things it's like a meme now like whenever i hear jk rowling like oh she's a you know like i just don't hear good things about her social media. yeah what'd she do exactly this time is, but yeah. yeah what about you Peter? And she keeps trying to add to the world like at, like what was it like after like oh wizards in the past shit in the hallways and clean it up with magic before the invention of toilets or some shit she like tweeted well, she that out as that? like yeah. Yeah, oh, I thought you were giving a hyperbole example. <laughs> no, <laughs> she literally tweet, tweeted that out. That's like, that's canon. Wizards uh, in the water universe used to just fucking drop their pants, shit in the hallway, and clean that shit up with wand magic right fair, after. Um, given magic, there's a lot of like dark places you can go. Creative oh, tr dark true. places you can go with the potential of magic. Jesus. That she can't put in children's books. <laughs> that is true. But, uh, Man, I think yeah, Harry Potter is definitely the series that I would read to read with like fresh eyes. Peter, I think you see a locked door. How do you get in? <laughs> oh. So I answered this question oh. already for Arya, but what I said was the dumbest answer well, of all the you... ones. I said I would wait until someone opened the door. So I have not was... heard that one. Yeah, I. So You're I'm a muggle. <laughs> I'm a fucking muggle. Oh my God. Like, I'm not even a Hufflepuff. I'm just a fucking muggle. <laughs> not even an option. Yeah, yeah, dude. Mm. When I saw like, oh, knock on the door, I was like, why did I not consider knocking on the door? An option? <laughs> <laughs> Am I that stupid? Arya's I'm, just like, that was hmm, none of the options. Yeah, I'm, I'm a like, fucking Dursley, man. Oh shit. I never heard someone say like, you have to. It's a locked door. How do you get in? I just wait. I wait. <laughs> That's great. That's so cute. Okay, I also think picking a lock is like also not something you would logically jump yeah. to first, but some oh. people do. Um, 
Michael. <laughs> okay, I you check to see if it's a lock you could pick. Um, Michael does of this. Course. Michael does this. Like, oh. and like, okay, well, first off, I didn't, like, in my head when I hear there's a locked door, I imagine we're, like, in a dungeon, you know, okay, and there's but, a locked door, but, but apparently Lily's like, oh, maybe we'll knock, um, um, maybe it's a bedroom door, and exactly. there are people I inside. Think, I think we go to different conclusions, like, you yeah. assumed it was a dungeon, I assumed, like, oh, it's locked for a reason, there must be someone behind it, let me knock. Um, <laughs> really? There's no right answer, it's just how you... What you go to, I guess. Apparently and Peter over is. here is just gonna wait for that. <laughs> so We're cute. just chilling. Scara, you know, gonna find a key. Yeah, I, I would go looking for like another route or a key. Like that, I I thought of the door as like our house door. I'd be like, oh, mm. if this isn't open, I just go around the back or like mm. go around. Ah, uh, but like that's weird where your mind goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, one of the options is like, oh, if you break down the door, you're a Gryffindor. I'm like, who the fuck would break down the door? Who's Ask breaking Vaughn. down the door? <laughs> well, Those are there's like, a locked door. She's like, I kick it in. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, they exist. Who would normally do that? <laughs> I don't think anyone would choose that option. <laughs> we have a bot over here. Yeah. That's oh, true. that's so funny. Oh, speaking <laughs> about Avon, she got a cat recently. Yes. Oh, Named Somi. Cute. cute as fuck. And I hear everyone's getting cats now. Isn't that right, Peter? Wait. That is right. Peter, I am getting another cat. Another cat. Oh, yes. you are? The plan is I will be picking her up on Thursday. Wait, is this soon? Everything. That soon. <gasps> Wait, you told me a so, week ago. Yeah, you know? yeah it, it kind of opportunity came knocking at the door, which I wouldn't have done. I would have just waited until someone <laughs> opened it. But look, I yeah, so apparently there is a cat available for someone else. And uh, they didn't go. They didn't go on the. Uh, they didn't take the offer, and they asked me if I wanted to take it instead. So I did. Uh, wow. And yeah, so they're they're coming on Thursdays. The plan so far, and uh, yeah, it's going to be the same breed as Peepo, <gasps> uh, Siberian, oh. just a different coloration, more more white. Uh, uh, but uh, girl she's boy. very cute. <gasps> girl. People are gonna have a little sister. Yeah. Oh my and god. Oh, is that why you? Chopped his yeah, balls that's, off. Well, par yeah, partially. I just wanted to prevent like any like potential like pa like aggressive behavior mm -hmm. or whatever. You're all supposed to just neuter them in general just yeah, for population control. Them. So um, yeah, this thought like now would be a good time. So many but, of our uh, friends are getting cats. Do uh -oh. you think there's gonna be like a whole generation of children born in quarantine? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Like, what, sure. the, just a lot of bored people just doing the deed. So. Oh, you didn't tell Lily what you were gonna name her. Oh, her name's gonna be Winry. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being judged, but yeah. For people who don't know, know Win theme. Winry is the a female character from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is actually. Ooh, between Full Metal Alchemist and Harry oh, Potter. Oh, and Harry be, Potter. Yeah, that would be tough. Probably Harry Potter still, though. I think Harry really? Potter still. Mm -hmm. Even, like, counting, like, video games. Oh. If you could just replete one piece of content, including oh, video games. Undertale. Really? You'd replay Undertale. Like, I love oh. Undertale. Okay. Huh. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 1 for me. <gasps> Kingdom Hearts 1 when you walk away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sora, I'll come back for you, Kari. <laughs> Look, I cried at the end, okay? It when he so carves in, or when she's little, back on the island, yeah, she carves the, the pow poo fruit yeah. back. Yeah. The pow pow, the pow pow, yeah. whatever the fuck fruit. So, uh, yeah. how'd the story go into Kingdom Hearts 3, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I. Okay. That disc is still in my PS4. I'll let you know when I, whenever I get back to it. <laughs> Sometimes back I feel like Kingdom Hearts popularity is fueled more by nostalgia. Oh, for sure. I mean, that's true I, for a lot of things. But no, I, I have yeah, I have a lot of nostalgic memories of like Sora, Kyrie, the songs, and the Destiny Island, and the ugh, the fuck with the, the Keyblades and everything, and the little characters yeah. like. But then, then I saw Kingdom Hearts three, and I just uh, could not play it. Really. I think a lot of people not, did that. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really tried liking that game, man. I tried so hard, but then every cutscene was like twelve minutes long, and I just want I shriveled up and died inside. <laughs> So, mm. oh, can't, yeah. can't wait for the DLC to come out, and you guys are all the player. But yeah, Pokemon course. Snap too. Oh, oh! Pokemon I forgot about Snap that game coming out. That's, I'm so excited. That's actually sick. Gonna, I might well, get flamed for this, but I never played the original. Oh, I I, I tried to, and I was like, 
you just take pictures of Pokemon okay, you don't, in the game? It's not just <laughs> taking pictures. Well, okay, for example, why do people play Animal Crossing? There's no real end goal, right? I Pokemon. rented it. For, yeah, but like, you get to build a house, yeah, right? No, no, no. But you take good pictures, and sometimes you can't take the pictures of Pokemon unless you do something mm -hmm. to enable those shots. And then, like, you just get rewarded with, like, points depending on how good the pictures are. And then, like, you share their pictures. And it's just it's really like, relaxing oh, game. When's the game okay, going to so start? <laughs> <laughs> My Pokemon, God. Snap is, Pokemon Snap is like I've never played it, so from what I heard though, it's like you're on the on the rails. It's like an on the rail shooter almost, yes. right? Yeah. Like yeah, you're yeah. literally stuck on a on a linear path that you can't get off of. And then and you take photos. Yeah, and it's right? so satisfying game. when you like get a really good shot. That's really hard, you know. Mm -hmm. Like in the original one, you could use different things, like you could throw like food Apples, or like these. They were called pester balls, I think, to like annoy them and then there you could play the pokey flute to make certain pokemon dance and sing and stuff like that so you had like different interactions and the final final level was like this rainbow cloud place where you finally saw mew and then you had to take a picture of mew and then you had to keep throwing like past, like something balls or something at the little thing until it shattered and then Mew did a little twirly twirly thing and then go like mew and then you had to take a picture and then pokemon professor oak when he saw the picture was like oh it's mew it's a very rare pokemon <laughs> Do you think Pokemon Snap 2 will be good? I don't know, actually. That's what I thought about Paper Mario. Have you played the new Paper Mario game? I did. Did you um, play Thousand I Year did, Door 2? I did play Thousand okay, Year Door. Okay, how does it compare? Different, completely different game. That's genre. what I was afraid of. Okay. Um, I do think it's not a bad game. Okay. But it's a puzzle game. While Thousand Year Door was an RPG. I want an RPG like Thousand Year Door. They're never going to they're never going to make an I RPG really, Paper Mario it's again. It's so good. Uh, it's like three Paper Marios in a row. It's been I think the not RPG genre is dead. Uh, like the ter the turn based one because all the all oh, the turn based yeah. RPGs ter turn into real time. Every single one. Because oh, no, there's one left. There's one left. What? Uh, bravely bravely Maybe default. <gasps> yeah, yeah. That bravely that one's saying. Default was so good. One the sequel's was, coming out soon. Was amazing. Then two came out. And they just rehashed the same thing. Two wasn't, yes. and then they're like, "Oh, it's not really a sequel, guys. Don't worry about it." Because now the actual two is coming out, and that's the sequel. But I'm so careful about keeping my hopes up for games now because I've been disappointed yeah. too many times. <laughs> I think Bravely Default was really good. I love games like like RPG elements, like that turn based, like just very old school, very cute. I, Choose your class. I think because everyone's you... attention spans have shrunk to like a peanut size, you have to do like mm -hmm. real time stuff now, or else like. People just get yeah, because I am not interested. Yeah, wait, your fault, Michael? Do, I Michael! can't do it. My little fucking Zoomer brain. <laughs> Zoomer when I brain, it, I'm I'm the same though, because I tried playing Octopath Traveler, which is a, like a Actually, throwback to uh -huh. old school JRPGs, and I was like, wow, this is like so I can't fucking slow. Like I can't do this. I need something like uh, that's gonna juice my brain a little more. Yeah, okay. Crack of video games. So, I can't do turn based. Hmm. I'd reduce Skyrim. I, I oh, fucking never Skyrim. finished actually. I've never played really? it. God, it's so fucking good. I can't, Fuck. can't believe I've never played it. They've come out with like seven game of the year edition <laughs> VR. I know. You, you can play it on Switch, <laughs> which is shit. stupid as fuck. Uh, don't they give you like links, like weapons and shit in that game or something? In you that can, version of the well, game? You can get. Wait, cat. Do you? I did yeah, not I'm know. I'm sure that. you get like some kind of Nintendo related merchandise in, in Skyrim if you play the Switch version. <laughs> That's, That's so, so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just dumped like two or three thousand hours into it and it was like, holy Jesus. shit. There's well, always shit to do. Dumped the most time in besides like League and shit, obviously. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, I can see that. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not, it's not even yeah. close. Like, I used. Yeah. That was 10 years of my life. Like, <laughs> like League has been ten, and then WoW has been ten, and one third of my lifespan has been devoted to two games. <laughs> You're a gamer. Like, hey, really? You have, like, I, I like. Wait, how many of those years you overlapped for League? Probably and like WoW? three, three, three to four years overlapped. But like, like legit, like I boosted during WoW. Like I, like cleared like a lot of the in-game contests, top PvP. Put, it was like. I, I did everything in a while. Holy fuck. Man, I wish I was good enough at a game to boost. Like, because <laughs> to be able to boost, you have to be good, right? Mm -hmm. It starts, it, it starts <laughs> be feeling like work. Because, like... Well, it is work. Mm -hmm. It's like doing a Making job. Money. 
It is a yeah. job. It becomes less fun because it's like when you of lose, course. you're like, fuck, dude. I was so close to the rating they want me to be at, but it's going to take an extra 40 minutes and you lose twice. You're like, fuck, God, fuck. He needs this by like tonight. The cutoff is here. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. It, it was, it was That's stressful. Bad. Like, it was just like not that fun, but I can't say anything because like you paid the bills. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. Do you guys have anything like you're looking forward to right now? Any projects? Any videos? Any whatever? Um, I finished my video that I was doing for like two weeks. Nice. That's gonna be Dude, nice. you've been grinding that up, that one out. I heard. Yeah, it was awful, but it's done now. It's under review from the sponsor. They might tell me to cut or not cut some stuff, but Wait, it's um, done. All I care is that it's done. This is coming out Sunday, right? Huh? Yes. This podcast. Yes. Okay, by that time, your video sh- should be out, right? It should be out, It should yeah. be out, right? Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should. It's ca- it should time, tentatively yeah. come out on Friday, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, by that time, we should know if Scar won at the Fall Guys Twitch Rivals, right? Oh, true. Speaking of, me and Scar, Peter, we need to practice some more. Yeah, me and Peter need to practice more. But me and Peter are playing with <laughs> John Masayoshi, and we're playing with Box Box, Albert. For our four man Twitch Who's Rivals really team. Good. Yeah, he's, by the way, he God crazy. of the game. Like, he literally had, he's Actual insane. God. So, we have a Twitch Rivals together on Friday or Thursday, and we are either going to own or get owned. We got to practice a little bit. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be half and half. I think half of our squad will own, and then me and you will. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck you okay, so here's two options here. Option A, Dunois, okay. Congratulations on winning Twitch Rivals, guys! Really nice job. Good job. Oh my god, congrats on winning that. Won. That's okay. awesome. Option two. Dude, you'll get it. It is what it is. It is it's a bullshit it is. competition, <laughs> dude. Sometimes you win this game. Shit sucks. I'm glad we're coming That's okay. <laughs> he's not gonna edit either of them, right? No, he's not, dude. <laughs> oh, my song's coming out. So oh. It should be out by Ooh. now. Wait, yeah. Would you like to I tell people how long that. you've worked on it? Okay, I had the concept two years ago or three, Mm -hmm. right? Just tinkering on the piano. And I used to sing it on stream a lot. And then finally, I'm like, you know what? I'll hire someone to do it for me, like produce it for me. So I got got a producer. I got some lyric lyric help, lyrical help. I got some backup vocal. I got a jazz pianist to do like one of the solo parts too. I got, I I had had a lot of help with this. I paid everyone and just like really finally ready for this song to come out. But I want to, also make a music video right so i'm like looking into animated music video but should i do like half live action to like maybe oh. save a few thousand dollars it's just a lot <laughs> of money and time and effort in like one fucking song and i'm like how do people do this you like, cut between like live action and i was gonna do an that. awesome anime and then have the live action that, just yeah. be us being shit okay like, that's you know. epic <laughs> meme dude actually i think uh both of you are like some of the most productive people I know during quarantine. Like, I talk to a lot of people uh, right now, and they're just like, so what are you doing? Well, you know, same thing. Yeah, I'm just moving along. I'm not that productive. And I, I, I feel like... productive you, moments. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I work in waves. Yeah, I have like... In the waves. Oh, I feel I like, like, Michael, you're for sure, like, really productive compared to a lot of people, including myself. Um, yeah. In waves. In waves. In waves. In waves. In waves. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like right now, I'm just like oh, you're, waiting you're to get back. Way, from right? these guys. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, and then uh, I'm gonna ramp it up again for something else. I mean, a lot of us are not productive at all. Like during this quarantine, it's like just like this whole thing just saps the energy and it sucks. It is very draining. Yeah, for I some think reason. I feel the best when I have something to work for, work to, right? Mm-hmm. A goal mm-hmm. or making something or whatever. So yeah, if you're on Spotify or iTunes or whatever, you know, just look up Lily Peachy Dreamy Night. Okay, cool. It already sounds really good. I'm so excited. Yeah, really good. All right. All right. Um, right. I think that's all Mm -hmm. we have right now. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming on. No problem. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Thank you for watching, listening. Our our 33rd episode. 33rd. Yes, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are also on those other things, right? Called Spotify and Apple Play. And Apple Play. And they can't take 30% from us because we don't make money on those. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Good shit on Fortnite. for sponsoring (laughs) this podcast. Right here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Postmates, as well. All right. uh, And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Bye.